Hey y'all, today I'm cooking up some Philly cheese steak sandwiches on the flat top griddle and it's real easy to do. On the stove top in a skillet, add a little oil over medium high heat. We're going to caramelize some onions. This will take about 45 minutes. Now you'll notice that they'll start turning a little bit darker as it cooks. Now you'll want to add a little salt to help them sweat. Continue to cook, stirring occasionally until your onions are really soft and caramelized, then just set them aside. Take your ribeye beef steak and put in plastic wrap. We're going to put this in the freezer for about 30 minutes to firm up because it makes it easier to cut really thin slices. Heat your flap top on medium high heat, hit it with a little oil and spread it around and add your beef steak to that. It's not going to take long to cook, maybe four to five minutes. Then just hit it with a little salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Add your onions to warm up. And then you want to add this to your beef steak along with any peppers that you use. Peppers is not traditional with Philly cheese, but if you like to add them, go ahead. Then separate them into piles. Add your provolone cheese or cheese whiz with this and then let it melt. When the cheese melts, just give it a good toss to incorporate. Heat up your hoagie buns, scoop up into the bun, and enjoy a delicious Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Thanks so much for stopping by. Leave a comment. I'll answer every one of you, but until next time, as always, bye-bye, y'all.